Hey, it's the No Filter Show with Paul and Grady. And today we're here with Mayor John Pike. How are you, Paul? Grady, good to be See with you. you. Great. So what do we got on the agenda today, guys? Well, I guess the mayor is going to take us on a tour of historic downtown St. George. Is that right, Mayor? You bet. Sounds good. We're going to do it in style. Well, alrighty. Mayor Pike, this right here is my favorite statue in all of St. George. Can you tell me about it? Yeah, I mean, obviously it's a it's a great big guitar. It is. It's called it's, it's called Ready to Play, and it's for sale. You can buy it if you How want much? to. About thirty grand. I'm sold. What are these little things? They're all over downtown. This is part of the Art Around the Corner exhibit. That is basically it's an ongoing outdoor uh, art gallery. And so this is a local not-for-profit organization, Art Around the Corner, and every year they rotate new sculptures, around about 22 of them, in historic St. George. And they're all for sale. Wow. And so you can, as a local business, what we hope is that, that you will buy them and then we <laughs> continue to have this, uh, um, this rotating exhibit uh, cool. renew every, the end of every March, every wow. year. Who is this guy over here driving the stake into the ground? Well, that is Robert Gardner. He was one of the uh, one of the early settlers of St. George, and what he's doing is driving the stake in very close to where the center of St. George is and was at that time. Mayor, tell us something we don't know about you. <laughs> well, um, besides uh, riding segways, which I just learned how to do today. You're good at it. Yeah, yeah. I, I love I, I love motorcycles, so I, I like to ride motorcycles and four wheelers and and uh, water ski with my family. Is this the old Dixie College? Yeah, it was originally the Dixie uh, Academy, and so in fact we're going to put that back on the building because that's really what it started as Dixie High was there and Dixie uh, College. And so, so yeah, it's, here it is still there. And now, of course, it, uh, two thirds of it is occupied by the St. George Children's Museum. You idiots need a filter. We're right in front of the old electric theater. And luckily, we get to preserve this. The city bought this uh, last year, and we're going to preserve the electric theater. The two small buildings next to it will be torn down and replaced with a new facade put on here that looks old. We'll now have space uh, once the, the new part is open for visual arts and performing arts to have uh, places to rehearse, to paint, uh, to, to um, exhibit their uh, their wares, if you will, and, and even to have offices and storage space. So, so that's what we're going to have here probably in about a year. here with the Dixie High School cheerleaders. Yeah. Right. Now, uh, we're going to do some dancing. Uh, wait just a minute. You're going to need a permit for that. <laughs> oh, hey. What's up with the dance thing? I mean, it's on Saturday Night Live. It's kind of made national news. Can you explain the ordinance, where it came from, and if it's going to stay, or what's going on with it? We had to get on Saturday Night Live somehow. I know. And, and so I this, you know, this was one way to do it. <laughs> Finally. Yeah, and I've always thought Kevin Bacon was just awesome. You know, we have what's called a special event permit, 
and, and it really covers a lot of different events and dances are one of those. Yeah. First of all, instead of making it go before the city council, which takes time because you got to schedule it and have a meeting, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I think we can get, I, and I, this is my feeling, is we got to get rid of that and just let staff do it. And if there's, a, if there's something where they feel like uh, this is unique and it may need to come to the council, then it could. But otherwise, frankly, we approve all kinds of these events, dances included. Do you like yeah. to dance? Well, uh, you know, I like to, but it doesn't look pretty. <laughs> Why don't you do a little dance for us right yeah, here? Yeah, we, we can dance on this. You can dance if you want to. You can, you can sing that. If yeah, you want yeah, to. yeah. Fears behind. Well, there are no friends of mine. We are in front of the state champions, Dixie High School. State champs, state champs, state champs, state champs, state champs, state champs. We're at Dixie High School with Mike Welker. Mike, how you doing? Uh, great, thanks, and uh, really excited to be celebrating this championship at this school. So you have kids that go here? I do. I have two sons. One is a senior on the football team. He had knee surgery a week ago, so he didn't get to play in the championship game, but we are still very excited. What a great game that was. They made the whole Dixer, Dixie Flyer family proud. Uh, there's a ton of excitement, as there always is with a championship. Uh, there's a lot of pride and a lot of heart in this team. They showed just great courage, heart, and determination to develop themselves into this kind of team. Okay, at this time, if we could invite out uh, Mayor Pike. Appreciate him being here. Give it up, Mayor Pike. It's a mic for him. Thank you. It's great to be here. What a wonderful occasion. Uh, I just want to, first of all, congratulate everybody, all the teams, of course, uh, as has just been expressed, golf, tennis, and of course, your Dixie football flyers. Way to go. We have uh, a lot of wonderful traditions here in St. George and Utah's Dixie, and I'm, I'm proud to, although I didn't go here, I've had four kids go here so far, and, and hopefully more to come. But I hope that you consider this team and everything that they stood for. Not just one leader, not just one superstar, but a whole team and, and a whole group of leaders who made this possible. When people may have thought you didn't have a chance, look what they turned around and did. Just amazing. So congratulations, Dixie Flyers. Appreciate the chance to be here, and uh, we've been touring St. George a little bit with Paul and Grady from St. George News. No Filter is their show. So thanks to them for providing the segue, and now uh, I'll segue back to, uh, to Mike. Thank you. Give it one more time, Mayor Pike. Thank you for coming, Dave. Thank you so much. Thanks.